This is a forensic comparison microscope. This is the comparison bridge. This is the selector knob where you can select the image from the right side, or you could select the image from the left side, or you could select to have portions of both images in your, in your field of view. You just turn the knob to get the image that you need. On the top, we have a SLR camera. It's a digital SLR camera. We have, a S we have an SLR attachment, and we have a secondary photography port. This port would be for something like a video CCD camera. This digital SLR camera is connected into the laptop to take the digital video and digital still images. There's a trinocular lever on the other side where you pull out and it takes the image to the camera. These ports are for, adjust, for adjusting the separation line. This also moves your separation line. One of the, you take these caps off, pop them off, and you can access it, access a, an adjustment lever inside with a, screw, a screwdriver. One adjustment lever adjusts the width of the separation line and, and the other adjusts the taper of the separation line. So if that is off, then take out these knobs and do the proper adjustment. So we have the head, we have the bridge, we have the zoom objectives, we have the frame, and we have the stage. We have a control panel on a control board, and we have a fiber optic illumination in the back, 150 watt fiber, fiber optic illumination per side. So it's a 300 watts total fiber optic. These are fiber optic knobs, fiber optic pipes. They come down to a focusing tip. Then we have LED elimination. This is a four band LED eliminator. This is a typical five watt cold LED light source. This whole frame is solely for the laptop. It can be taken off if you're not using a laptop, but it's very convenient. Looking at the zoom, you simply turn the knobs to adjust the magnification. We have bottom lens that affect the magnification. Everything on a comparison microscope comes in pairs. So you have a 2x objective, two of them. And you have two of the 0.3x objectives. They screw to the bottom of the zoom objectives. They will change the magnification and they will also change the working distance. The working distance is the distance from the bottom of, lens, of the lens to the specimen. So a 2x magnification doubles the magnification power and a 0.3x magnification is 0.3 of the magnification. I have a bullet casing, shell, cartridge that I've been viewing on this. 
we have other types of holders. This is just a smaller, shorter holder. They are rotatable. This holder is tiltable. and rotatable at the same time. For doing bullet comparison, you have the bullet holders. These bullet holders, this is the bullet holder, it's screwed to the stage. There's two screw holes. So depending on your specimen, you have the choices of the stage. You may be, you may also, this is not just a bullet comparison microscope. It can also be used to compare forensic documents. This gives me transmitted light, light from the bottom. There's an opening. The light shines through the frosted glass plates. I can remove the stage. This is the opening for the transmitted light. This is the fiber optic light. I can attach the fiber optic light into this stage, which has a mirror reflecting the light directly up changing the light angle 90 degrees. So the light now is going directly up. So if I have a translucent specimen such as a forensic document that I'm looking at, I could put it on the stage and shine the light through it. These are the XY stage movement knobs. the Y direction, and the X direction. I have various illumination methods. We just discussed the fiber optic, where I have 150 watt fiber optic illumination on both sides. It's controlled by a rear mounted fiber optic light source, halogen, 150 watt bulb. The intensity is controlled by these knobs. The one operates the left system, the other operates the right system. The other illumination I have is a 5 watt LED. And then the final illumination is the 4 band wavelength LED illuminator. This particular one has white, red, green, and blue. You simply hit the different knobs to change the color band in the LED illuminator. I 
have a controller for the left, and I have a controller for the right. This is the intensity, the variable intensity. It changes the intensity of the five band LED, and it changes the intensity of the five watt LED cold light source. This is solely white light, but I have filter holders. I have a red and a green filter. These can be inserted in the filter holder. That changes, simply changes the color of the light. To change the color of these illuminators, I use my knobs on my control panel. White light, red light, green light, blue light. These are ring lights. They're LED ring lights. I have one pair that is a UV ultraviolet. I have another pair that is an infrared. And I have another pair that is a white light. These ring lights simply mount underneath the objectives and they have a plug-in that has a port on the sides. That's the ring lights. UV, infrared, and white light. I also have coaxial illuminators. These coaxial illuminators are screwed to the bottom of the objectives. The coaxial illuminator is illuminated by using the fiber optic. You have to bend the fiber optic pipe and point it into the illuminator which has which has an angle angled mirror. It passes light down and it passes light up. So the light comes in and it's reflected down coaxially, coaxially on the specimen. That light is reflected back up and into the objective. So the coaxial elimination is, is eliminated by the 150 watt fiber optic light source. I also have polarizing filters. These polarizing filters are screwed to the bottom of the objective. They polarize the light, plain polarization. These are UV and infrared tips filters. These tips go to the fiber optic. They screw into them. UV and infrared. These are mounts, optional mounts mounts for the different cameras. They provide a C-mount. This port is mainly used for CCD cameras. The microscope comes with 10 power eyepieces with a high eye point for people who wear glasses. 
So if you wear if you wear eyeglasses or you don't wear eyeglasses, you can use these eyepieces. These are wide field 10x by 22 millimeter field of view. The microscope also comes with a pair of 20x eyepieces. For the bullet holder, we have a variety of accessories. These accessories are for holding cartridges, or for holding other bullets. Small bullets can be held in some of the smaller bullet holders. Just different accessories to use with our bullet holder. The microscope also has stage movement focusing, motorized stage. Pressing one button will raise, will raise the stage up. Pressing the other button lowers the stage. This knob moves the bridge left and right. These knobs independently raise and lower the stages. So while you use the up and down stage movement knob, the motorization part, you also have to independently focus using these knobs. You also have to center, center your specimens in your optical path and use these left and right XY mechanical movement knobs. These knobs are for the ring lights. To turn on and off the ring lights. The microscope also has diopter adjustments on the eyepieces so that if one eye is in focus and the other eye is not in focus, you use these diopter adjustments to get both eyes in focus at the same time. It also has interpupillary distance adjustment. This adjusts for the distance between your eyes. The lights are adjustable.